Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will see the question Jump Game 3. In this question, we are given a non-negative integer array and we are initially positioned at start index of the array. When we are at the index i, we can either jump to i plus array i or i minus array i. We need to check if we can reach to any index with the value 0. We are given three examples with the problem and also the constraints. Coming to the hints given with the question, the hint tells us to turn out BFS to solve the problem and the second hint tells us that when we reach a position with the value 0, we simply return true. Now these two hints are quite helpful in this question as solving this and visualizing this problem as a BFS quite makes it easy to solve. So before jumping onto the coding part, let's see how we can apply our BFS technique in this array. Consider we are given this array and the start 5, this is the example number 1. So initially we will be at a position 5 which has a value 1 in the array. Now at this particular position we can either move to two directions. Either we can move to the pointer 4 with the value 3 or the pointer 6 to, of the value 2. Now we have still not been able to reach any index with the value 0. So we will keep moving forward. In the next level we can reach index 1 from 4 with the value 2 and index 7. As index 7 is outside the array, we cannot jump on it. So we discard this. Coming to the index 6, we can either reach uh, index 4 with the value 3. Now, this index has already been reached or traversed by us. So we won't be doing another traversal on that when we will neglect this too. Now coming to the next operation, we can reach index 8 from 6 and as it is outside the array, we neglect it too. So at this level only remaining operation is the index 1 with the value 2. From that index, we can move to two positions, either minus 1 that is also outside the array, so we neglect it and another the index 3 with the value 0. So as we have reached a particular index with a value 0, we return true and so the result is true for this array and the start position. Let's see one more example to make it clear. We will be taking the example 3 and we'll start from the start index 2 with the value 2. When we do all the traversals on this graph breadthwise, we get this kind of tree. And now when we see that at the end all the indexes are visited and there is no scenario where we can reach the index 1 with the value 0. So in this case we return false. So in this code we need to take into consideration of two things. The boundary conditions if the index is out of bound of the array and second to mark all the indexes which have been visited before so that we do not process them again. Otherwise it will lead to an infinite loop in the case when we cannot reach any node with the value 0. So now let's see how to code this. We'll start off with creating a queue. This queue will hold all the indexes that needs to be visited. Now we'll put the start index into this queue. As in any BFS, we'll loop till this queue is not empty. So we need to perform our operations on all the elements that are currently present in the queue. So we'll take its size and loop on values for this size. We'll take the point out. Now, so now there are two conditions. We can either move to left, which will be nothing but point minus the value at this point. Or we can move to the right which is point plus array of point. The two boundary conditions need to be taken care at these two conditions and lastly to mark this point as visited what we do is the array contains a non-negative integers so we can make the value that has been visited that is the point value to be a negative value that means that we have visited it before. We check if we are not overflowing the index so we'll check if array of point this 
is greater than or equals to zero then only we apply a logic over here if it is not overflowing we have two conditions if the value at this point is equals to zero then we have reached an index with the value zero so we simply return true from here else if if this value is greater than zero then we add this index into our queue the same logic will be applicable when we move to the right only difference is all this negative will become positive and also this boundary conditions will be now it should be less than the length of the array if the queue becomes empty and we have still not found any index with the value 0 we simply return false when we run this code we get the right output for first let's test this for uh, the third example because it gives false so it is working fine let's submit this code the code got submitted successfully the time and space complexity of this algorithm is o of n thanks for watching the video see you in the next one